What's up, you guys? Ali Pearl Hair sent me this beautiful 16 inch curly wig. It's a headband wig, and if you'd like to see how I installed it, just continue watching this video. Now, my hair was already washed. I washed it probably two days before this, I think, and I relaxed it as well, so that was great. Now you guys know that I'm a sucker for packaging. The packaging was very minimal. It was really cute as well. I like the color. Um, but oh no, I found it very, very cute. Now, this is the wig. Really, really nice texture. I loved it, guys. Like, when I tell you this wig is soft. This wig is soft. Okay? And I was looking at it right against my hair. And I saw that it wasn't too far off the color of my own hair. Here I'm just showing you guys the three clips that are at the top of the headband wig and just the cap construction as well. And there's also, I think, three, two other clips at the bottom of the wig. Yeah, there's two. There's two other clips at the bottom of the wig. And then here there's like the strap pots. Um, I forgot the name of the texture. I think it's Velcro. I think. I'm not, I'm not sure but yeah now guys i really recommend that you this is what i do to curly wigs like i brush them out and then i put water on them to see if they can bounce back basically so this is just me brushing out the wig and it's curls not brushing it out but then just like you know um like kind of testing it out you know to see that yo if i put water on this thing will it go back to what it was when it first came because when it first came um, the curls obviously before I started brushing them out um, They were really nice and curly So now I'm putting water and conditioner. I do this to all my curly wigs just to see and guys The way this thing bounced back and honestly the hair was so nice and soft. I couldn't stop touching it I really liked it. I've heard a lot of good reviews about Ali Pearl hair and just how their hair is very very nice. So I wasn't expecting anything less than that So over here, you guys, I'm just taking out the contents of the bag. So obviously, I've got the, the OG caps with me here. They were colored, so that was pretty cool. I've also got a... What do you call this? Edges brush, yeah. They gave me an edges brush, which was really, really cool. I like that. That was pretty cool. Um, an extra elastic for me to sew onto the wig. I never do that, though, but I always get the... As there's, there's an extra elastic and i'm just taking out gang scarves guys like there was hella scarves in this bag <laughs> like scarves and headbands as well as the laying scarf i'm not sure what that's called but just that thing that you use to lay your wigs and stuff they came with that as well which is super cool also i realized that it was stretchy um like look like it stretches that was super cool like i loved that for some reason that was very impressive so now i'm just parting my hair with this dirty ass comb parting my hair because i've seen like with wig with headband wigs most people part their hair in half down the middle so i was like you know what? okay it's fine let me just try it um i've been preferring middle parts with my hair anyway so it wasn't that much of a big deal so yeah guys i know it looks like i'm being aggressive with my hair but honestly if you have natural hair you know the deal so now i'm going in with my edge control and yeah i'm just slicking that hair yep.
using the scarf to lay my edges down i don't know what to call it guys i don't know but yeah i found it pretty cool it looked cool you know so i'm just using that to lay everything down so that everything is a bit sleek and yeah let it lay for like about 10 minutes not that long because i was impatient so i just took it off straight away i didn't wait that long honestly i waited like 10 minutes um but you know everything laid down pretty nice i guess i don't know so now i'm gonna put the wig cap on now see this part was very tricky i'm not gonna lie because i was basically doing this based off some of the videos that i've watched on hairband wigs and stuff so first off the wig cap was a bit too small for me because i've got a gigantic head it's either i have a gigantic head or it was just the wrong size because um chow, the thing was stopping my blood flow honestly my circulation wasn't circulating so no. but yeah i'm just going in with the wig cap and then i'm putting the wig on um and like how i positioned it was like i just clipped the clips right after the wig cap i don't know if that made sense but that's what i did so now i'm just strapping the wig on and all of that now see you guys let me tell you something if you are not used to your big forehead like me i mean i'm used to it sometimes sometimes i'm just like geez like i'm caught off guard because i would have been wearing wigs for so long but if you're not used to your big forehead this wig will for sure do that for you i know a lot of girls who are embracing their foreheads more that's me this year honestly i was just like you know what f it i don't care anymore i still think that i'm a pretty girl i don't know why i ever thought that my forehead didn't make me pretty like i don't know why but um yeah this is a hairstyle that will really make you embrace your forehead which is great honestly i think we should all embrace all the parts of our bodies and stuff so this is a great hairstyle for that so now i'm just unpacking unboxing i'm taking out the scarf because it was my favorite i loved it so much but i'm not gonna wear this one first but i was just taking it out because i just wanted to feel it it was it looks so pretty so i went straight in with the leopard print one and like the way it's designed is like i don't know if you guys have seen these but they're like already made headbands like you don't have to make your own ties if that makes sense which is cool i found that pretty cool um and yeah so i'm just placing it on top of where the black part of the headband shows just to like, hide that and i don't know guys like it looked pretty cool it looked very very different and i felt like it was mixing with my hair properly you know i was just checking myself out and really just getting used to it also i keep on touching the hair because it's very soft it's such a nice texture i really liked it so now I'm wearing the scarf that I love and live for. I don't know. It's just something about the scarf. It's giving Thailand. It's giving the Bahamas. It's giving the Maldives. It's giving everything it's supposed to. And I'm here for it. You know? So now I'm just trying the wig on. Like, like putting it all the way through down my forehead. Just to see. I just wanted to see how it would look. If it would still look like cute or not. I thought it looked cute so there's you know two ways of wearing this wig i'm sure there's other ways i don't know how many other ways but the two ways that i definitely will be wearing this wig are those two right guys so i realized that this is probably the only way i like how the wig looks on me like with the scarf moment you know honestly this is how i wear my wigs anyway like when i'm not in the mood to glue my wig when i have to go run some errands but i still want to look a bit cute i'll just throw on a wig and then i'll throw on a scarf but now since i have all of these nice pretty scarves and this headband wig i feel like that's a bit easier um especially like the part that usually has the lace um now it just has the headband like i showed you let me show you guys again so this part it's very soft like it's not as harsh on my forehead um or on my hairline as it would be if i was wearing a normal wig with a normal lace i mean but like do you see what i mean like i th i think it's still like cute but i'm just not used to it y'all and oh let me also put on let me put some mousse in this hair 
still a bit moist from the um the conditioner water it matches really well with my hair color also my hair is like semi relaxed so there's this one pretty cute also the texture of this hair is really nice really really soft hair alley pearl hair i like it it's really nice and soft i'm so lazy i don't want to tie this but it's all good i can see myself rocking styles like this when i'm older honestly guys i'm kind of warming up to it i don't know i'm kind of warming up to this i don't know it's cute i don't know you guys i don't know cute i don't know i don't know how to feel about it it's not your usual glue lace lay you know it's not your usual if you have a big forehead like mine it will take some getting used to honestly because like i'm not used to seeing my forehead out of the open like this <laughs> but like it's cute i i i kind of like it but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is a 16 inch curly headband wig super pretty super nice also super soft i don't know it's different it's a very different vibe i wanted to try it out um i'm not sure I, I feel like it's probably the type of wig that i'll wear when i'm running errands you know going to the gym yeah if you want something easy then i suggest you get this like it's very easy you just pop it on you go pop it on put one of your head wraps on and you're outie. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check the description box for all the information about this wig. And yeah, that's all, you guys. I love all of you so much. A rose to 6K. By the time I upload this video, I feel like I would have gotten there. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. Don't play around with the truth. All I want.